It is cursed. The story of Tommy, Grace, the Russians, and the Cursed Sapphire goes back to Season 3. This video contains spoilers for Peaky Blinders Season 6, so if you haven't already watched, you can leave the video right now and come back later. Peaky Blinders fans last saw the stone in Season 3, Episode 3. Back in Season 3, in the world of Peaky Blinders, a Russian Archduke gave Tommy Shelby a sapphire. It was one of a horde of jewels smuggled out of revolutionary Russia, hidden in the clothing and intimate places of the Archduke's wife and niece. The sapphire was payment for the murder of a spy and down payment for a shipment of tanks the Peaky Blinders were stealing to export to Georgians fighting the Bolsheviks. Tommy took the jewel home and presented it mounted as a necklace to his new wife Grace suggesting that she wear it to the Shelby Foundation fundraising dinner. Wear it to the foundation dinner. When she demurred that it was a bit much for a charity event, he told her, Grace, this is Birmingham. Good taste is for people who can't afford sapphires. Nothing on earth would make me wear it. At the foundation gala, Grace met the Archduke's niece, Tatiana, who recognized the sapphire. Riled by Tommy ignoring her seduction attempt, Tatiana laughed and told him, Does your wife know that the sapphire she's wearing has been cursed by a gypsy? Nothing on earth would make me wear it. A believer in gypsy curses, Tommy took the threat seriously and went straight over to Grace to tell her to take off the necklace. Before she could, a voice shouted, Oh, I need you! And shot Grace dead with a bullet aimed at Tommy. The gunman, was from the Changretta family, and the shooting was in revenge for the blinding of Angel Changretta, who was seeing Lizzie Stark. Tommy paid a visit to Madame Bethany Boswell in an attempt to seek answers about Grace's death. After Grace's death, Tommy went with Johnny Dogs and Baby Charles in a wagon to the Black Mountains. There, he sought the advice of Gypsy matriarch Madame Boswell. He told her he was giving the sapphire away and asked whether or not she would take it. Would you take it? His wife was wearing it on the night she was shot, he told the wise woman, and he blamed himself. You want me to tell you this jewel is cursed, and then our death won't be all your fault? She asked. If I believed in priest, Tommy said, I would confess and ask for forgiveness. But all I have is you, Madame Boswell. She said that the sapphire was indeed cursed, she could feel the curse burning through her hand. Burning through my heart. Tommy left the stone with her, and she shouted after him that from now on, he would be blessed with good fortune. It's a great scene that at the time was marked by ambiguity. Was Madame Boswell lying to land herself a valuable jewel? Or did she really feel the stone's curse? Did Tommy truly believe in the curse? Or did he just need an explanation for Grace's murder that absolved him of guilt. In season six, episode three, Tommy was reunited with John Shelby's wife, Esme Lee. He hoped she could provide answers regarding Ruby's sudden illness. Esme explained where the cursed sapphire had ended up 10 years after Grace's death. You recall a sapphire? He gave a sapphire to a woman called Bethany Barwell. In season six, that ambiguity was replaced with certainty. The sapphire was indeed cursed, as may Shelby Lee tells Tommy. Madame Boswell gave it to her daughter, Evadne, who put it around the neck of her seven-year-old daughter, Connie, who immediately started coughing and was dead before morning. The sapphire was thrown into the river, and Evadne duly cursed Tommy Shelby that if he should ever have a daughter, that she would also die at that age. Her child's grave was marked by a cross bearing the inscription, Connie Boswell, seven years old, died of a cursed stone, not forgotten. And then in red, what looks like the words, vengeance will come. In season six, episode three, gold, vengeance did come. Tommy's seven-year-old daughter, Ruby, died of tuberculosis after hearing voices, seeing visions, and speaking the Romani words for the devil. A desperate Tommy declared he would pay off the girl's mother with 10,000 pounds and build a monument to the child while desecrating her grave. Ruby 
will be well! She will be well! Unfortunately, Tommy didn't get the chance to do as he planned. When Tommy returned to the hospital, Lizzie Shelby told him their daughter had died. Ruby died from a curse laid in retaliation for Tommy having passed on an already cursed Sapphire to the Boswell family. Grace was shot by a foe. Ruby and Connie both died of TB, and the Sapphire had nothing to do with any of it. Tommy felt guilt over Grace's death and needed something to blame that wasn't himself. So he seized on the idea of the cursed stone as an explanation. Tommy's mind almost says as much when he had a vision of Grace holding the Sapphire in season five, and she gave voice to his greatest fear. It wasn't the blue stone, Tommy. It was you. None of that dull rationalism, though, would be very Peaky Blinders. This is a drama that believes in gypsy superstition, so why shouldn't we believe it too? The stone was cursed, and that curse killed Grace, Connie, and indirectly, Ruby. In episode four at Ruby's funeral, Tommy swears that the devil who did this will pay for Ruby. The devil who did this will pay for Ruby. And right after setting fire to her carriage, Bad night, Barwell. Yeah? Who's asking? Tommy took a gun and killed Evedney Boswell and her clan by saying, Man, I'm after the blue sapphire. But pain and suffering continue for Thomas Shelby, and he appears completely broken. He went to meet Esme Shelby to pay her in gold, and there he found out something else. Before Tommy went to France, he slept with a girl under a hazel tree in 1914. The girl got pregnant and gave birth to a boy named Duke. Tommy was in France when all of this happened. Tommy is not ready to accept this yet, so he left for home and had a fight with Lizzie. But does the Cursed Sapphire story end here? What are your thoughts on the Cursed Sapphire and all the deaths linked to it? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Movified Universe for more interesting videos like this one. See you in the next video. You should check out the videos on your screen.